how to get your motivation back. My motivation was extremely down in the dumps and it was killed. My motivation was killed. I was very passionate about self-development. Every single day, that's who I was. Every single day, becoming the better version of myself. Every single day. Then, an event happened and this event was so stressful and so, I won't say so traumatic, but it was so stressful and stressful enough that it impacted my life to the extent of me creating a negative belief that I wasn't really aware that I was creating or I created. And I was not meditating at this time. So, you know, that also probably wasn't so good, right? Because meditation during that time would have definitely helped me cope with the stress and help me identify and be self-aware of this negative belief that I'm about to, you know, put bring into my life and think about or accept. And unknowingly, you know, over the years, right, I did not realize that my self-motivation and my motivation was declining, declining, declining to to a plateau to where I just wasn't doing self-development no more, wasn't doing nothing no more. And I got to a point in my life where I'm like, didn't know where I was going in my life, none of that. I felt very stuck and, you know, I, I was just asking for answers, just asking for answers, just asking for answers. And years later, you know, it kind of trickled down. I, I got an answer, right? I got the answer, boom, I'm like, okay. But it didn't, I didn't really solve it at that point. And then I think about a year later, it came again, boom. I didn't really solve it at that point. And I think like six, eight months later, almost a, another year later, I got it again, boom. And then that's when everything changed. And what allowed everything to change was me identifying. Well, first me having the ambition to want to have a better life, to want to change my life. And what really set it off for me was identifying my negative belief. So if you are struggling with self-motivation, you have to look at your beliefs, right? You have to look at your beliefs about what are you doing that is keeping you from not doing what you want to do and the motivation that you need why you're not doing it and what you believe to be true to allow you to behave like that. What do you believe to make those choices? Because it's a choice at the end of the day. If you are not doing what you know you need to be doing, you're choosing that. So what do you have to believe to be true for you to choose that? Because you obviously believe, you obviously have a belief, right? You have a belief that influences your behavior. You have a belief that influences your choices. So what do you believe to allow you to continue to not move forward? Or what do you believe that you're afraid of that would happen if you did the things that you know you need to do. And that's what I asked myself. And when I asked that, I got the previous answer that I got before. And I was like, you know what? I got the answer. Let me deep dive into this belief. And that's what I did. I deep dived into this belief. And the belief came from a previous job that I had, a sales job. Um, one of my first jobs when I was young. And that job brought up a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety towards the end of me quitting. And that job was very stressful. And that job made me instill the belief in me that no matter how hard I work, I won't achieve my goals. And even if I do all the things right, I won't achieve my goals. And the reason why I had that belief was because my manager, you know, he was successful he was my age and he was making about a hundred thousand a year that was like 10 years ago so that was obviously a lot of money for like a 20 year old and i looked at him as like a in-person mentor so i wanted to learn everything from him and i wanted to basically humble myself and be like you know what he's where he's at i want to be where he's at let me listen to him and let me do everything he says and he told me hey anthony if you do this this and this every single day you, I will promote you to manager and I will get you your own store and you will have your own team and you will be basically where I'm at, right? So, you know, I did what he said, but he didn't do what he said he would do when I do what I said I would do, you know? 
and he fell short on his end and I felt betrayal. I felt like, dang, you know, I worked so hard, extremely hard. I put my all into this thing and I was doing all the things right. I was doing everything that he said, right? And when we're talking about sales, we're talking about hitting a quota every single day and that's, that's challenging. And it's also challenging too when you fall off. There was multiple times where I fell off and I'm like, cause I've been working so hard. I burn myself out like multiple times and I'm down in the dumps and I'm like, damn, I got to get it up. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got to become manager. I got to do these things, right? So I I magically flip and I just, I become better, a better salesman each and every time I fall. And I've seen so many sales reps, once they hit a wall, they quit, they fall off, they quit and they don't bounce back and they dip. Me, I fell off, I came back, and I came back harder multiple times. And he is, I mean, like, but I came to an understanding when I analyzed that belief and where it came from as far as that negative belief about, you know, no matter how hard I work, I won't achieve my goals. And, you know, even if I do all the things right, I won't achieve my goals. I really identified that situation because that's where that belief came from. So for you, right? You need to go back like okay when did when did I start experiencing this negative belief or when did I start experiencing these negative circumstances that continuously and habitually happen in my life go back to that point where you remember an event that may have caused that situation and you want to look at that you have a negative belief around that you want to challenge that negative belief you want to make it to where it feels illogical because when it's illogical you won't believe it no more so that's what I did. I was like, you know what? My manager, he was young just like me. His first business, right? He would definitely have went to the next level if he would have promoted me. He would have made more money if he would have helped me. He knows that. And then I also took responsibility for myself. I'm like, hey, you know what? There's some things that you could have done differently. And there was. There was definitely some things that I could have done differently to been able to get to the point, right? If I know I'm doing all these things that he's saying to do to get management, right? And I know the steps to do to get to management and he's not, you know, he's not doing his part to, you know, for me, I could have went to his manager and I could have said, hey, can you do this for me? Or can you tell him to do this for me? But I didn't do that. I wasn't proactive with him, you know, um, with my manager and you know, I, I just really analyzed that situation, that event. And, you know, I just came to a, an understanding like, you know what? He was young. I was young. I didn't have no clear defined picture of what I wanted. To a degree, I didn't, but I did. But I wasn't proactive in holding him accountable. And, you know, I would say that's probably just really the main things. And then, you know, also too, like I didn't quit when I felt like I should have, you know? But, I mean, it would have been a better option anyways to have been proactive to talk to his manager instead of, you know, quitting or not saying nothing at all. But that's what really helped me out. And then also, yeah, I noticed it, it affected my self-development, my self-development life. And I was trying to figure out, okay, why did it affect my self-development life as far as me not being motivated to work on my self-development, you know, work on myself. And I figured that, you know, when I was young, right, I went through an experience that led me to self-development, a negative experience, a negative experience that led me to self-development. And when I was doing and be, trying to become the best version of myself, exercising, eating healthy, meditating, doing all these different health modalities to make myself healthier, to make myself better, I translated that into if I better my life, my life would be better. And I left it at that. I wasn't really clear, defined, and specific on what I wanted. Like, hey, I experienced this negative experience. My life's like this. I want to experience these specific things. I didn't have no clear, defined, definite purpose in those areas. What happened was, all those years of self-development, after I looked back on feeling betrayed by my manager, which I don't really feel betrayed no more because he specifically did it betray me like that because he would only benefit me so his betrayal wasn't intentional but when I felt that betrayal of working hard to my goals and not achieving them I translated that to my self-development because I'm like I was doing I was working on myself for years and 
I realized that I, I'm, I, I have not experienced the specific things that I wanted. And that was all unconscious. But then I, when I put light on it and shed light on it, I realized that when you were doing self-development, you had no clear goals on what you wanted to achieve. You were just meditating for the health benefits. You were just exercising for the health benefits. You were just eating healthy for the health benefits to become better, to be better, to potentially better your life. So when I realized that about my self-development journey, and when I realized that about my job, those little situations, after I dissolved that, after I challenged those negative beliefs to make it become illogical, because it was, right? All negative beliefs are really illogical. And then it just, boop, it just went away. And then after that, I had extreme motivation to start working on myself because I knew that if I work toward my goals, I will achieve them. So I started exercising every day. I started eating healthier. I started doing all the things that I know I need to do to get to specific goals. I, I set clear, specific intentions on what I wanted to achieve. And I do the things that I need to do every single day to get closer to those goals. So the good thing about that experience is that now I know what to do correctly to get the experiences that I and the manifestations that I want to experience as far as self-motivation if you lost your self-motivation you just it's all about beliefs you got to identify what you believe in to not be motivated and when you got to you know identify what you fear right it's because all beliefs all negative beliefs are fear-based right all negative beliefs are fear-based so you got to really ask yourself what are you afraid of and be humble with that question because i was so with self-development i and i'm so okay and i'm so motivated to encounter my fears and i'm not afraid of my fears but and then that's why i didn't really think i had any fears and that's also why i didn't really solve that problem before but i remember that when i were asking myself that question about you know why am I afraid of, you know, moving forward towards my goals? And I will feel like a, like a, you know, a, a sink in my chest, a fear. Like I'm scared, like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> but that fear came from like, I'm scared that if I worked on my goals, I'll feel betrayed. And I would say when you're working on yourself, man, you wanna, you, <laughs> you wanna go all out, man. If you could cry, cry. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to go all out. But, yeah, self-motivation. How to be self-motivated. How to break through previous... Yeah, how to... How to that was a breakthrough that I had. And it, was all, it all came from identifying a negative belief that was holding me back from my motivation. But uh, that's it for this video. I hope it helps you. Leave a comment down below if um, if you applied it or if you're going to apply it or if you did it and it helped you. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next video.